Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we will cover lab number 12. Uh, in this lab, we look at if we look at the projections, we'll find that the top view has the most dimensions and all the most features. So this way we will start the, our sketch on the top view. Dimensions are in millimeter, so we will choose the NC metric. Uh, let's go to uh, solid edge new new I'm get the NC metric the part okay we're gonna go to the top view and gonna start with circle by center we're gonna start with 60 we'll put the 60 here And the next one is 30. In the same center. And the third one is 20. I'm going to just uh, remove the coordinate axis. And then I'm going to get another circle, which will be the 40. and it should be in the same center line with the other one and let me do the other one too and then another uh, 40, 25 and 15 so I'm gonna put 25 and 15 Let's put the dimensions, so the distance between the circle, the center here, to center here. So this should be 70. And the other one, another 70. Oh, let's, let's lock the dimensions, so again, so this is the 40 and then the 20 and the 25 and 15 25 and 15 good and then let's see what this one okay 40 25 I should make it symmetry and that's it okay just 15 okay what about this one? So this is the 60, okay. And this is the 30. And this is the other one, the 20. Okay. Now let's do the other, the connection. A horizontal to let touch the circle. I'm gonna keep it there. A horizontal to let touch the circle. Good. Now let's do the circle in the bottom here. So circle by center. Uh, the large one is 70. I'm going to put 70. I'm going to be at the same line. Okay. And then the next one is 45. center 45 and then 30 and then after that is the 24 Now the distance from the center of the, the circle, whatever this circle here, so let's get the dimension, x, so this, from this circle to this circle, this should be 100, so I'm going to put 100, good, 
okay so now let's okay now let's get the line tangent to both circles here I'm gonna choose any point to touch tangent I'm touching okay you should get a circle with an X on it and let's go to the other side it should move with you so we get out so we're gonna see that if you get escape you can see a circle with an X circle with an X circle with an X circle with an X so this means that so now I'm gonna start trimming some extra lines so I'm gonna trim this one and trim this one anything else need to be trimmed yeah okay the circle here this will be good now let's go to the home and starting the extrusion so extrusion I'm gonna say face I'm gonna start with the big the bear the, the base so I'm gonna click on this one and this phase it will go up how much seven I'm gonna put seven so this okay it is seven okay I'm gonna say extrude extrusion and I'm gonna use phase so I'm gonna say use this one shift get the other circle and this right click then it will go okay go not not both direction should be one direction up and this should be 10 very good now let's get this one oh we should do this one too and this should be same thing so go up and this should be 10 also so 10 we should do it with the other one it's okay okay now I need to do this one the one in the middle the circle in the middle here so we're gonna be extrusion again and this face right click so we'll go up 96 enter okay now let's get this one And this will go up how much? 34. Enter. Actually, 34. 34. Enter. Or 35. Then I'm going to do the, the one in the middle, the, the inside. No, yes, this one. Right click. I'm going to go up. I think it's going to be less 8, so it's going to be 26. Enter. very good so almost we almost done with the main features the next step is we need to do the the rib and to do the rib just what I need to bring back the orthogonal uh, planar so the the reference planars planes so I'm gonna click on the reference plane highlight them I need to get the okay so this is the right plane okay so I'm gonna keep the right don't worry about the front now at the top so I'm gonna only leave on the right which is this one here so I'm gonna say I need a line and I'm gonna draw it in the right plane you see the right plane here then you click on F3 oops sorry so I have F3 highlighted in this plane so now I'm gonna look at the side view so I'm gonna go to the from this point till it touch somewhere here in the in the line here and the height from the tip here to the bottom here should be 50 I'm gonna put 50 okay okay so now escape so now I'm gonna go to just corner just I'm gonna rotate it a little bit and then I'm gonna say what I need to do a rib so okay see a rib here I'm gonna select the rib under thin wall rib I'm gonna yeah okay it's automatically selected the item because it was highlighted so the thickness of the rib is 8 which is the same number we have here we can change that and since it is 8 so I'm gonna say okay 
so this way we did the rib so we're done with the rib what's left now is let's go back I need now I need to draw this piece here in front of this circuit so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna first create a plane parallel to the right plane the, the, the front plane at a distance from the center here to the edge here which will be in my case is 130 so from the coordinate axis from the planar axis uh, planes the standard plane 130 so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a parallel plane so now let's let's first bring the the other plane so this is the right so the front okay so I'm gonna uncheck the right and bring the front this is the front here so I'm gonna say give me a plane I'm gonna click on the front it will come a plane and then you see the arrow I'm gonna click on the arrow and I'm gonna move it 130 so what I'm gonna do is 130 130 but 130 so I created the plane now I'm gonna say okay I'm gonna create some drawing in this plane so I need to lock to this plane you see when I highlight the plane I get F3 click on F3 means anything I'm gonna draw is gonna be in this plane in the new plane so now let me go to the front and then I say okay I have a circle and this circle has a radius of 20 yes uh, sorry a diameter of 20 so I'm gonna say diameter 20 enter it's gonna be somewhere here from the center put it somewhere here and another circle what 10 enter in the same circle now I need to make the dimensions correct so this way we need to lock it so the distance okay let me make let me make first put the dimension so it doesn't it change so this should be 20 and this should be 10 okay good now the X from the th here circle to the bottom and this should be how much uh, okay no it's just a, yeah okay this should be 20 20 yes 20 20 20 20 yes from the bottom 20 and very good so now let's complete the drawing so I'm gonna get a line let me zoom first I'm gonna zoom and get the line from here draw it vertical till I reach the bottom and then I'm gonna escape okay and then I'm gonna connect it with the other line so now I got it this way so what I'm gonna do is I need to trim this line okay so now if I look carefully when I draw it it was drawn in the plane you see it is drawn in the plane yeah okay yeah there is no need by the way to draw it to the bottom but it's okay okay now so let's see uh, extrude face is gonna be this face I'm gonna take the whole thing that's fine and they say through next till it touch the next one here okay and this add and right click yes so till it touch here so it touch it there then the next step is to make what to make the hole so I'm gonna say extrude cut negative not positive and then through next okay the face okay I'm gonna use this oh, I can use the chain so I need this one here so right click so let me see how it go so I need it this way not this way this will give you an arrow okay so this way so now it is cut just inside here 
Yeah, you see it. Okay. Yeah, here it is. Okay. In the bottom here, in the side here. Okay. So, okay, so now. Okay, escape. Okay, let me make it fit. It's okay, that's good. Now let me get rid of these dimensions so at least you can see what we, we what we drawn. So let me go get the plane. I'm gonna highlight the plane and get rid of the okay the BMI. Okay, what about this plane? Okay, the front plane. Hide it. Okay. So we got the drawing, so okay i hope you uh, like the the lab this is lab 12 as i mentioned and what we covered today is just how to do a rib how to build a plane at certain location a certain distance so we can extrude from this plane and uh, just the regular practicing of about the circles and diameters and everything on this uh, in, the, in the feature of this uh, uh, lab or this uh, module okay i hope you enjoyed or you like the uh, lab and uh, i'd like to thank you for watching and at the same time i'd like to hear your feedback and if you like the video please subscribe to the channel uh, click the bell and give it a thumb up have a wonderful day and see you on the next lab bye bye